اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد واصحابه بارك وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my dear beloved jamaat al muslimin and our viewers on facebook and youtube i greet you with the universal greetings of love peace and mercy assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh alhamdulillah tonight is the 26th night of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. And tonight our beloved Hafad will be leading us and they will commence with the 30th juice of the glorious Quran. The 30th juice is also the last juice of the Quran, starting with Surah Naba, where Allah starts uh, by saying, uh, now, what is so amazing, they will read 15 surahs tonight in this juice. And in every surah, Allah makes reference to the day of Qiyamah. As if Allah is showing us that I'm warning you over and over and over. Allah puts so much emphasis on this day of reality that is surely coming, that no one will be argue, able to argue against Allah and say that they didn't know about the day of judgment. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls this day the Naba'ul Azim, the great event or the great announcement. Now when the Prophet made this announcement, this mighty announcement about Qiyamah, the Kufar were coming together and have their discussions among themselves and they ask, what is this Naba'ul Azim that this Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is talking about? You know, they were quarreling and they were mocking and they were jesting. What is this day about? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah, أَمَّا يَتَسَاعَلُونَ عَنِ النَّبَئِ الْعَظِيمِ أَلَّذِي هُمْ فِيهِ مُخْتَلِّفُونَ كَلَّا سَيَعْلَمُونَ ثُمَّ كَلَّا سَيَعْلَمُونَ Allah say they quarrel amongst themselves and they mock by asking each other, what is this day that the Prophet Muhammad is talking about? Tell them, this نَبَئُ الْعَظِيمِ This great eventful day is that day that will definitely happen. Soon they will come to know Allah say, and most certainly soon they will come to know. And further on, we will go into Surah An-Nazi'at, which is the second Surah in the Jews, where Allah starts the Surah by saying, وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَ وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَ now in these two ayats, Allah speaks about, about two different classes of angels, of malaika. And Allah says, وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَ Allah says, I take a qasam by those angels that I will send to you at the time of death, who will take your ruh violently, with harshness. وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَ Allah says, and also take an oath by those angels whom I will send to you who will take your ruh gently and with kindness. Where do we stand? When Malakul Maut comes, he don't come alone. He comes with his whole army, an army of angels of mercy and another army of angels of punishment and adab. Who is going to take our ruh? The angels of mercy or the angels of punishment. And further on in the surah, after Allah makes reference about our certain death, that either the angels will come to us, then Allah say, Yawma tarjufur rajifa, mankind will experience a day when the entire planet earth is going to shake, a mighty shaking, Allah say. So over and over Allah refers to this day to make us aware and to bring more awareness in us that we are moving rapidly towards that day when the world is going to come to an end and we are going to meet Allah. In the third surah, Surah Abbasa wa Tawalla, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah also makes reference to judgment day, but Allah mostly speaks about the condition of mankind on that day. 
And Allah says, يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِي وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِي وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِي لِكُلِّ مَرْئِمْ مِنْهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذٍ شَأْنُ يُغْنِي Allah says, on that day, eventful day, man will run away from his father. Father will run away from children. Mother will desert children. Brothers and sisters will run away from each other. Husbands and wife won't even want to look at each other. Everyone is going to be saying, Nafsi, Nafsi, what about myself? All of us are going to be concerned. We are so going to be concerned about ourselves that the Prophet says, the whole of mankind will be in a state of nakedness. Like we came into this world naked, on the day of judgment, Allah will raise us up naked. And Sayyidina Aisha, the beloved wife of the Prophet, she asked, O oh, Rasulullah, if all of us are going to be naked on that day, won't people look at each other? Won't they look at each other's aura and at each other's shame? The Prophet said, the fear and the anxiety on that day will be so great that no person will even be bothered with the nakedness of the next person. Can you imagine the whole humanity is naked and no one takes note of no one because we are too full of anxiety and fear. Only concern, what is going to be my state? Now that I'm going to appear in the divine supreme court of Allah, what is going to be the judgment for me or against me by the king of all kings, the judge of all judges, the magistrate of all magistrates, Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the universe. Immediately after that, Allah again make reference to Qiyamah by saying, إِذَا الشَّمْسِ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَدَرَتْ وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ سُيِّرَتْ Allah say, and that day, I'm going to fold up the sun. Can you imagine Allah say, I'm going to fold up the sun. The sun will be crushed. And without the sun, there can be no life on planet earth. And the stars is going to become in disarray. And the oceans, Allah say, will start to boil and to flood. Major floods and tsunamis throughout planet earth. Total chaos on that eventful day that Allah promises us will come to us ayah after ayah and surah after surah. In the next verse again, surah Infitar, the fifth surah in this juice, Allah speaks about وَإِذَا السَّمَاءٌ فَطَرَتْ And there will come a time, Allah say, when the heavens that you see so perfect is in perfection the heavens the way Allah created it. Allah said, when you look up, you are going to see the, the heavens fall down and crumble down and it will fall down in utter pieces. The heavens, nothing will remain. Every picture that Allah gives us in all these surahs is a picture of total chaos. Everything will be in disarray and everything will be terminated. And then imagine in all these narrations of Qiyamah, in the next surah, Wailul Mutaffifin, Allah speaks about the Mutaffifin. Who are the Mutaffifin? It is those who cheated other people in the business dealings. Those who don't weigh the scale properly. They give people less, they charge you for a kilo. They charge you for a kilo but they don't give you a kilo. Or they enter into business dealings with you, promising honesty and righteousness, but meanwhile, they stab you in the back, causing your own business to be a failure. Amongst these verses of Qiyamah, Allah speaks about these people, the cheaters, which mean there will be a great, great punishment and the displeasure of Allah will be upon them. So here Allah speaks about the, fa the fate of the believers and the disbelievers. In the next surah, Inshiqaq, 
In shikak also mean to shatter. Allah say, wa idas. Allah say, wa idas samaun shakat. Again, Allah refers to the heavens as if Allah every time tell us, take note around you, look up. What is going to happen? Allah say, idas samaun shakat. The heavens will be split asunder. It will split asunder by the permission of its Lord. Already Allah mentioned in other places in the Quran that because of certain utterances of people, the heavens want to split asunder. The heavens want to crash down upon us. When people say that Allah has begotten a son, that Jesus is the son of God. Some of the Jews believe Uzair, or Ezra as they call him, the prophet Ezra is the son of God. Mithraism, an ancient religion, believed that Mithra was the son of God. And so they go on. Other religions ascribe daughters to God Almighty. Allah say, what? Are you attributing children to me? I don't have a need for a mother, a father, a partner, a son or daughter. I'm one supreme being and I alone, and I alone created the heavens and the earth and whatever exists. So Allah said, just by that, it's like swearing against Allah. Swearing against Allah. And that words that people say are so, are so vicious and so abominable that the heavens is ready to split asunder. But Allah through his will still keep it intact. But there will come a time when Allah give permission to the skies and the sky will split asunder and it will come crashing down. Then Allah speaks about Surah Al-Buruj. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Buruj speak about another grievous action that is taking place, especially in modern society today. Allah refers to abortion, where babies are being aborted because of promiscuous lives. Young girls falling pregnant outside of marriage. Young girls of 13, 14, 15, their parents are not even aware. Wallahi, I'm standing here in the masjid. Allah is my witness. I was phoned at times to the hospitals to come and counsel young ladies who just lost their child. But they didn't lose their child. The child was aborted. And at one stage, as I came in, the young girl sitting on the bed, I'm looking for a young lady whom I must counsel and probably comfort and whose parents I must contact. When I came in, no greeting. She just told me, there's it. There's it. A child, a living human being that was in a blessed womb whom Allah gave life but she chose to kill a defenseless baby in a womb and made a womb into a tomb and your womb is supposed to be the most safest place for a baby. How many girls fall pregnant today and wallahi their parents are not even aware that they are pregnant. I don't know how a mother can't pick up that there's something wrong with a daughter. I don't know how a father can't see, but my child is acting strangely. Where's that time when a young girl, if she used to skip one day of a khayd, one day, immediately the parents will check up, are you okay? Did anything happen? Where's that concern today? Abortions are taking place on a major scale today and it's becoming accepted. So much so that a young girl can go into hospital and have an abortion without the consent of her parents. Allah says in this surah, Wal yawmil maw'ud tu su'ilat bi ayyi dhambin qutilat. On that day when we're all going to stand in Allah's presence, Allah will ask that little baby, O oh little soul, for which crime has he, have you been killed? What crime did you commit that your life was snatched away from you? And wallahi, 
if I must go into the finer details of how an abortion is really being done, some people sitting here who are faint-hearted and sensitive, you will get sick to your stomach. But abortion is not only a crime, abortion is murder, and abortion is a major sin against Allah because you decide you're taking the life of an innocent baby who couldn't defend itself. And so Allah goes out throughout the surah, time is against me, surah Buruj, surah At-Tariq, where Allah say, Yawma tubala sarair, that is the day, that eventful day, is the day when all secrets will be exposed. All secrets that are in our chest, that are in our minds, secrets that are buried, secret treasures that treasures that are buried, everything that is a secret, everything will be exposed and will be made known. Our fast will go right through to rhetoric, Surah Sabbih Isma Rabbik Al A'la, Surah Ghashiyah, and Surah Tul Fajr, where Allah makes mention Walayalin Ashar. Wal Fajr, Walayalin Ashar. Allah takes a qasam by fajr. Some scholars say, yeah, Allah refers to the fajr salah that is so much neglected. How many of us sleep through fajr? The strong man is not the man who can wrestle the next guy to the ground. A strong man or a strong woman is that person. You have so much strength you say Bismillah and you lift that blanket and you stand up from your warm bed for Allah, love for Allah and for the pleasure of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us hidayah, may Allah grant us understanding. So even if you can't remember everything that I've said, in fact I only came halfway but time is really not at my disposal. But as long as we stand in our tarawih tonight and just stand with the idea that Allah is speaking to me. Allah is speaking to you, to every one of us. Allah is speaking to our heart and Allah tells us in no uncertain terms, take note, judgment is coming. You are going to stand in my presence. May Allah make us all of the muttaqeen and may Allah make us successful on the day of judgment. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.